Okay, so in this problem we have 156 divided by 12. According to the four steps um, discussed on the previous slide, the first thing I'm going to do is draw the dividend using base 10 symbols. So the dividend in this problem is the number that's being divided in this case 156. So since I have a 1 in the hundreds place, I'm going to draw one of these hundred blocks. And since I have a 5 in the tens place, I'm going to draw 5 of these um, 10 symbols. And I have a 6 in the ones place, so I'm going to draw 6 of these little symbols here. So now I've completed step 1, which is to draw the dividend using my base 10 symbols. So I am just drawing a little squiggly line under here to separate this step from the rest of our problem. So step two is to make a group um, of um, our divisor. We want to make ten groups of our divisor. In this case our divisor is twelve and I want to make 10 groups of 12 so I'm going to use my hundreds block there and I'm going to put two tens underneath my hundreds block there and now I have 10 groups of 12 and something that's very important that I need to make sure I do is each time I use a part of my dividend to make groups of 12 I want to cross out each part so I used the hundreds block so I want to cross that out I use I also use two of my tens pieces, so I'm going to cross those out. And then I'm going to draw another little line here. Um, so we can see that I've done step number one, I drew out my dividend. I did step number two, I made ten groups of twelve. And step number three, I want to make more groups of my divisor with the leftovers. So what do I mean by the leftovers? Well, in my second step, I use the hundreds block and two of the tens. And so what I have left over of my dividend up top is one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So with that remaining part of my dividend I want to make more groups of 12. So I make a 12 by drawing a 10 and putting two ones underneath of it and just like in step two I want to make sure that I'm crossing out each part of the dividend that I use. So I've made one extra group of 12. I'm going to make another group of 12 here, making sure that I cross out each part of my dividend as I do so. And so it looks like I can make one more 12. I'm trying to make that one last one here. That's not working. 
There we go. Okay. And then just to play it safe, I want to cross out the rest of my dividend. So I have completed step one, step two, and step three. And the last step is uh, figuring out how many total groups of 12 that I made. So in step two, I made 10 groups of 12. And in step three, I made one, two, three groups of 12. And in order to find the total number um, of groups of 12 that I made, I'm just going to add these two numbers up. Uh, we actually call these the partial quotients. So we're going to add up the partial quotient 10 to the partial quotient 3. And that's going to give me 13. So we've just found the quotient for 156 divided by 12. It is 13. And here is a creepy smiley face.